while you were in Indiana. Can you talk about that experience while you were at Indiana and describe the, the difference in techniques for someone who is completely unfamiliar with a uh, broke violin versus a modern violin that we play on today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I have to say that um, Alex, my teacher, who I love dearly, was very patient with me <laughs> because I arrived in his studio as a modern violinist and and the moment I set foot, <laughs> you know, on, on the soil of Bloomington, I realized I loved Brooke Violin so much. And so I ended up splitting my time really 50-50% between the two instruments. And Alex was so um, welcoming to the idea and so patient with me and very forgiving as I figured out exactly what you're saying, how to deal with the two different techniques. And so I really appreciate and love him for that. But um, yeah, the techniques are very different. Um, on modern violin, you sustain the sound a lot more and you have like a constant vibrato. Those are things that are looked at as being good things. And on the Baroque violin, those two qualifications are not good. <laughs> you want to use vibrato as like a accent or an ornament or a slight warming of the sound, but you don't use it continuously. And you certainly don't sustain the sound. The Baroque bow isn't even meant to, to be able to do that. And so when you're playing both instruments, it's totally possible, but you kind of have to split your mind in two and see them as two very different instruments. They're both violin, but in a way they're completely different. So you just have to realize that you're learning two completely different um, things. But let's see, where am I going with this? Um, when I was at Indiana, well, I spent a lot of time practicing really because you have to practice each instrument and when you're switching back and forth constantly, you know, it takes a good 30 minutes to realize, you know, which one you're on and how to play it and, you know, how to deal with that. So in the end, now I don't play, I, I wouldn't say I don't play modern anymore. And this is a difficulty we have with terminology. I would say I don't play on steel strings anymore. Um, and it's very rare I'll play with a modern bow unless I'm doing contemporary music. And that's just because I don't have time to keep up the two totally different worlds like that. But on Baroque violin, as a Baroque violinist, I actually play repertoire up through, you know, Schoenberg. It's just that I play it on gut strings and I change the equipment according to what music I'm playing. So it's just a tricky thing we have with terminology that we say Baroque violin and modern violin, but they do kind of cross over in a gray area at some point. 